Hello, people! My name is Rage, and welcome and all to some more Rebuff. And today, well, today we're going to do what we do every day, Pinky. Try to take over the the, the mortifying. Okay, no, in my defense, in my defense, okay, in, in my defense, A, I don't have much of a defense, but in my actual defense, my plan was... Oh no, I'm- Oh god, no, I hate this room. I hate this room. I hate this room. Concentration mode, concentration mode. Okay, don't mess this up. Don't mess this up. You just need to get to the item room. Just get to the item room. Infestation 2. I am a very caffeinated spider. And you can quote me on that. Basically, I didn't want to say world. I was like, no, I've done this in an intro before, many moons ago, and I said world. So today, I am going to say something else. At which point my brain was like, but we don't have anything else. So you should like just say world and get get it over. People probably don't even remember you've, you've said this once before. And I was like, no, I must say something new. And it, it backfired horribly. I looked like an idiot. And I had to explain it. Either way, we're playing Eden, because I was feeling like a bit of spice, a bit of randomness. And we start with Proptosis and the god dash dang it pinking shears, which is just absolutely lovely. I mean, look at that. I just, this is a very, very nice start to this run and honestly I'm completely okay with starting with these pills as well we're gonna go have a quick look at what we missed in uh, that final room although it does mean going through death central I'm not sure if I'm okay with going through death central but what I do know is that I I can do it I cannot believe I have got through that room without dying I feel like that's the first time that's actually happened and I'm just really Really happy that I've been able to pull that off. No, okay, yes, I did it. I went through the room three times and I did need take damage. Guys, I've officially leveled up as an Isaac player. So the reason I wanted to play Eden, by the way, welcome one, welcome all to today's run. I don't think that happens in, no. oh, last thing you want to do is walk in a bar and see that walking towards you. You just don't want to do it. It's It creeps you out. I can see forever. Very, very useful, I have to say. So, yeah. You all you all good? You all settled in? You all ready for a good Isaac time? I think that needs asking more at the start of runs. You know, I think you guys need... You guys need checking on, making sure everything's okay. You're all... Are you serious? Are you... Are you... Are you serious black right now? Is that what is... Is that what is going on? Am I going to die... I actually... Oh. <laughs> uh, I actually thought I was going to... I actually thought I was going to die. Like, genuinely, I thought I was... Oh, thank God. Oh, th I... That would have been... That would have been so embarrassing. I genuinely, for a second, thought I was going to die. I've never been so, so scared of embarrassment at the start of a run, ever. And now I have to go back and do it again in order to acquire the item. Room. That was, um, that was an eventful, eventful little moment, wasn't it? Wow, really? Infestation followed by infestation 2. Is that allowed? Is is that allowed to happen? I mean, I'm cool with it. I really, really am. But is that honestly allowed? Either way, now that my heart's returned to something approaching a normal beat, what I was gonna say, now that I've checked that you're all settled in and ready to go and all happy, which is what I would like. Ah, hey, yeah, let's get the bloody penny over the bar of chocolate. I would definitely say that is better. Well... That was a difficult boss fight, and we actually do gain more health for... Ah, oh, it's just a bitter, crampy boy. You know, not as exciting as it could have been, I will admit, but still certainly fine. Goodbye! Oh, that's a shame. Honestly, I think the pinking she is is a better boss-killing item than Krampus's head. 
And that doesn't happen often, but I actually really think it is. So I do want this curse room. I don't know how sensible going for this is going to be. It may be bad, as you can probably tell. I'm in an interesting, I'm in an interesting mood this this fine day. Come on! All right, so we made it in here, and we acquired for our efforts nothing of any tangible value. But that's okay. That is. That is a okay. Just let me out. There we go. We're back to the two hearts. Nothing majorly horrific happened from that. It's a shame we got to leave two tinted rocks behind. In fact, is it a shame? It is not a shame. I am going to acquire one of these tinted rocks by using the power of. I wanted to buy a bomb. But it didn't really work. Instead, we will get the replacement key for the item room on the next floor and a spirit heart to help ensure devil deals. But that's that's a little bit disappointing. But we are very strong. You know, we got to look at the positive side of this. In fact, there are many positives. The only negatives really in this entire thing is that I've been... Uh, like, playing like an absolute moron. So we do get our devil room here, though it is a bit of a terrible devil room. That, however, I'm totally cool with. So we get Guppy's Collar, which makes me kind of want to deliberately take one of these to ensure more devil deals, but neither of them are just... I just, you know, I just feel like it's not worth it. We'll open that, just because it would have been a shame for it to be something like a guppy item, and I just don't take it because I'm feeling lazy. And as it stands, that was a ridiculously easy room to deal with. So I'm totally cool with that. We'll come back to the curse room once we've dealt with our boss. Getting the secret room for free here is very, very nice. That is very, very sucky, however. And we actually get that. Okay. I'm all right with that. We've got ourselves a beggar over there who's going to continue going hungry. <laughs> Don't actually walk up to someone in the street and and like lean down and evil chortle at them. It's it's considered disrespectful in polite society. And you know, I, I not that I would know, but I, I hear you can spend a night a night in a cell for just generally being an ass. Not, not that that happened to me, or, or anything. In, in my defense, Dave was laughing at me. Who's Dave, you might ask? We don't, need to, we don't need to know who Dave is. Well, we got the piggy bank, so we are really into a things happen when I take damage run here. I'm not sure if I'm okay with that, but it could be a lot worse. So I'm just going to mostly accept it. Starting with proptosis is obviously wonderful. That is really... Really lame, actually. I should not have taken that damage, but I did, which at least means we're now going to the curse room. So, positive uh, outlooks all around. But yeah, the reason we're playing Eden today is actually something I wanted to talk about, and it's something I've been thinking of, and I actually read a cool idea from someone, and I was like, that actually would be really, really nice. Basically, because I still maintain that Eden is probably just for the, you know, straight upness, arguably the most fun character to play, just because starting with a fuck few random items is just a really nice spice of life type deal. It just really, really is. So what I was thinking of is in a entire randomized run, and what that means is every item pool is no longer an item pool. Every item can be everywhere. So there is just one solid item pool that always can spawn. So, you know when you blow up a tinted rock and it's the small rock? That's always guaranteed for normal. But instead, if you blow up a rock and it was going to give you the small rock, that could instead be literally any item in the game. From the godhead from the angel pool all the way to the stupid butter beam and vice versa. The same time, you could walk into a devil room and just get a coin on the floor. Like, fully straight up random. You could finish a room and an item would spawn in the center instead of a chest. Those types of deals, I think that would be really neat, because the net result would be about the same amount of items, but they'd be so completely random from such completely random places, it would really... I'm going to take a liberty cap over the blood penny, I think. It would really encourage proper exploration, and just really give that... Ooh! Everywhere. Wow, we grab the halo and... and uh, oh yeah, obviously we don't really give a damn about the devil room. It was a terrible devil room. The halo, however, is a absolutely glorious pickup right here. And I am going to bomb for that money. 
In fact, I'm going to bomb for both lots of the money because that is a rather nice amount. Unfortunately, I didn't get a secret room with that bomb, which is a little bit of a shame, but it is okay. Wow, we are very fast in that room thanks to the Liberty Cap, but that is a okay. fact. No, I'm going to go to the shop. Why would I not go to the shop? I just acquired enough money to make it by far and away worth it. Yes, please. I will definitely take Mum's key, and I'm also going to blow this up just because I don't have anything in that slot, and it could be a really nice tarot card. And the chariot, indeed. You know, that was tactical damage just because being on three hearts makes me pretend that I'm Isaac's base health, and that in some way makes me better. And basically what I'm saying is, shut up, don't judge me, I'm an idiot. So, moving on down... We are not progressing terribly quickly, but we are progressing very solidly. And sometimes you just need it to be solid. Like, you don't you don't want it slipping everywhere. That sounds like something a lot more disgusting than what I was previously talking about. So, we do manage to get the non-horrible version of this i I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna use the chariot on this room. Because this room is just awful, and I actually, I just, I don't want to deal with it. And I realize I failed really hard, but I don't know what it is about big rooms today, but apparently they're just panicking me to no end, and I don't really know how I'm supposed to deal with that fact that I'm not allowed to be a good Isaac player anymore. Now, I know what you're thinking. Rage, rage, it's fine. You were never a good Isaac player to begin with, in which case... You're so funny. So our item is... Balls! Ah! Uh -huh. We have one heart. We, we have one... Technically speaking, Proptosis is still a damage upgrade at all points. So that's not the end of the world. However... We have one heart. We have one heart. So, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to... Gonna do a little bit of... A little bit of, uh... A little bit of bomb... Management here. As I... Try and acquire myself... A little bit of... A little bit of extra, a little bit of extra health here. I think that, I think that makes, makes a lot of sense before I decide to, you know, kill myself in some horrifically stupid fashion. I think that is very much a sensible thing to do. Also, can I just say, that was a little bit good tactically, was it not, using Ipecac to do that. Normally, however, I am, I am so happy to see Ipecac. It's wonderful. Just... With Proptosis on this amount of health, it was just a little bit of a, oh, oh, a blind Ipecac, wonderful. But the thing is, I would have picked it up, of course I would, so I can't be too upset about it, it's what I would have done anyway. So we got ourselves uh, look down, that is a shame, balls of steel, very nice, and I found peels, guys. I found peels. Ten money for two keys, normally not a fan, but in this situation, I think that's actually kind of okay. You should die pretty easily. So should you. In fact, I think I'm going through both layers of the zombie with one shot. Which is really, really nice. I mean, I guess I should be destroying all the mushrooms. Because why the hell not? But I feel like dancing. Dancing. Chicka 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 pow. I never got that. And I don't actually think it does say chicka 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 pow. But I always only imagined a massive kung fu fight breaking out every time they talked about dancing. And I realize that's probably not sensible. Speed down doesn't hurt too much because we've got the speed ups to compensate for it. So I'm not going to be too concerned about that. Blowing up big groups of rocks just in case of the black market. We'll take this one. Mum's coin purse, not the end of the world, means we can't get it off a boss anymore. And the thing is, we did actually have some good pills, so I'm okay with this. I am going to keep Lemon Party over the other options, and I'm going to put some money in the donation machine, simply because I don't think I need to buy anything the rest of the run, because we are powerful enough that as long as I don't major league, like, major league mess this up, we should still be okay. Like, even if we don't get any more items, I think we've pretty much you know, accomplished greatness here. So, I am totally okay with that. 
That worked out really nicely, and we get the sun, which I am going to take over Lemon Party. Somewhat begrudgingly, because I do like a bit of a Lemon Party, but sometimes you just got to accept that that's how the cookie doth crumble. An extra bit of money, really, really nice. So I suppose for completion's sake, we will explore down here, and we actually get a free battery on top of the battery and the battery in the shop. So basically a lot of battery going on here. We'll have a look in this and acquire... Again, some more pills. I found pills, and whoa! Let's brighten up the darkness of the cursed room. I think that is only fair. We got away with this pretty nicely, and now our bomb problem, at least, has solved itself, so that's good. Boss room! There you are. In fact, we got a double trouble. I'm hoping for double fallen. And we actually get double pin. I need to go back and get that tinted rock. Hopefully, I remember. Well, that worked out pretty swimmingly, didn't it? Wow. And uh, Cat and Nine Tails. I'm okay with that. Shot speed is actually really good, so we have a lot more range on what we're doing here. And we just actually get a normal chest from it? Is that a thing that can happen? I don't actually remember that being a thing that can happen. The shop is all the way over there. Granted, I, wanna, I wanted to buy the other item just to see what it was, but the shop is all the way over there, guys. And I just don't know if I got the patience for that right now. We'll do this just because... It's got a fair chance of being something. Whoa, yes, thank you very much, Mum's Key. You are very much excellent. You guys aren't going to do much, and we get a troll bomber for our efforts. Yeah, I could have grabbed a little bit of that health, but I don't think it is too much of a big deal. And there we go. In fact, the spider's over there doing a lot of work because they cannot do anything else. Hey, Super Envy. Normally, I'd be so upset right now, but as it is, you're just a really nice way for me to generate spiders, and I thank you for your contribution to this run. Honestly, I really, really do. That was quite possibly the easiest Super Envy fight I've ever, ever had, and that makes me so, so happy. Having this curse is, well, you know, quite the curse, but still, we should be pretty good to just wreck through this floor. Yeah, that was lovely. We have the stars. We may as well use the stars. And we actually get the sad... Un well, ah. Oh. Yeah, that's a fair increase to our bombs per minute. I think the bombs per minute stat is something that's not actually visible in-game, but I think is definitely an actual stat that you need to look out for. That extra tinted rock is obviously nice. This room is, um, is interesting, I will admit. Just got to make sure they don't get towards me. What I do like about these skulls is that if you have explosive shots, as you are seeing, you can make sure that they never hit you. But it does make them go on quite a radical new direction, which you don't always want. Sometimes you want to stick to what you know. You don't need no radical new directions. You just need to be familiar and warm and caring, like fire gently caressing you as you sit by the, the other fire as... This example broke down a bit uh, when I considered that you'd actually just have third degree burns across most of your body if you were in fact being caressed by by fire. So, actual follow-up life advice. A, don't explode your face. And B, don't, don't try and hug fire, I suppose, is what I'm trying to put across here. I don't think I should ever run an, an advice column. I feel like if there was an advice column in, like, a paper and I had to write a section for it, I don't think anything I ever put in there would actually be, like, worthy of someone paying attention because I'd just recommend really pointless stuff. Like, if I was you, I'd recommend definitely not putting your hand in a lawnmower, which is technically sound advice, but then you think about, you know, who would actually do that. But then I guess you also think about the warnings that come on these things. Like, microwaves warn you not to do ridiculous stuff that you would never do. Like, I don't know, don't put your head in it for some reason. I, I swear to God, I've seen a microwave manual that recommends you don't put body parts in the microwave. But I want to know the person who looks at a microwave and goes, I wonder what would happen if I, um, if I microwaved my, my, you know, you know, would, would it be, would it be hot? No, it would explode and you'd no longer be able to have children, you maniac. Oh, the Emperor's kind of nice because it means we have access to boss rush whenever we feel like it. So we basically got to find the item room. We did actually find the curse room. Thing is, though, I can't go in without... Haha! -ha! Oh, I missed. I can't go in there without getting some more spirit heart buffers. 
So I don't really know how I'm going to do with that. But we have found the item room here, which is exactly what I was after. You should just die to that. And there we go. Lovely, lovely, our item. Ah, a bit of Aquarius. I can handle a bit of Aquarius. And we've got 18 minutes still. Lovely. There we go. So we acquire... Ah, oh, the Hermit. Let's Hermit as well. See where we end up. Over here. Well, this is interesting, but it does give us the other spirit high. Also, lets us put a load of money in our last shop. We didn't actually get any greeds this run, which makes me incessantly happy. Are we going to make it to 700? Come on! Come on! Boom! There it is, guys. We are getting there. We are actually approaching the magical 999. We are way over halfway. Wow, this run is literally... Break on the last one. It didn't. Bloody hell, that's the first time in a while that has happened. That makes me very, very happy. So I don't want to mess up on this boss rush. So I am going to very rapidly go back for my Emperor card and then press it. Though I also want to go in the curse room, but I need to allow time to actually kill Mum. Granted, I won't need much time to kill her. Uh, that was knowing, by the way that acceptance of the damage I was going to take there, because, quite frankly, I as long as I have uh, the one left, it's totally fine. So the, em the Emperor is in here. Do I have time to go to the curse room and still kill Mum? It's going to be very, very close. We'll leave the timer on the screen, just as a mission impossible. You can do it, Agent Rage! All you need to do is unleash the best of your abilities on the world. I don't really know why that's a thing. Secret room? No secret room. Oh my god, go. Go! Go! I believe! Can I even do the boss rush like this? Ah, of course I can do the boss rush like this. And... Well, te Oh, I f didn't get the other one after all that. Well, we still, technically speaking, got ourselves an extra spirit heart. So if we look at it like that, it's fine. We get ourselves an angel room, and we are very, very close. Going Boiler Roy, just because I want more amazingness from this. And, come on, come on, here we go. Boom, just about. Oh, well, that is distinct lack of anything worth taking, isn't it? Just genuinely speaking. Ah, uh, do I want any of that? I guess concussive shots? Why not? I feel like a bit of boss rush action. We actually get a champion one there. May as well use our shears just because they are, of course, going to wreck everything. And there it is, there it is, and there it is. We actually got, is this a full champion boss rush? I just realized it is, it's a full champion boss rush. That's a little bit worrying. Well, it would be a little bit worrying if I wasn't so ridiculously powerful right now. Otherwise, this would be a little bit concerning, but we just have so much stuff going on for us right now that even my spiders are mostly killing everything. The bomb fly... Uh, Fistula not really doing much. Every Larry Jr. that dies spawns a massive row of spiders if I actually manage to get the killing blow. So that doesn't worry me at all. We actually get a black heart there, which is very nice to see. Monstro is actually much easier when he is like that because he has so much less health and you can just really blast him down. Gurney Jr., again, so much easier when he is champion because he doesn't do his stupid attack thing. The laser coming out from Monstro too. Wow, my damage is actually insane. Insanity! My spiders are just... I am, I, am, I am impressed. Maybe I could have gone Dark Room. Who knows? Maybe that was a rash decision. All I knew is that I needed to get into the boss rush right the hell now. And, you know, maybe, maybe I messed up due to that. Oh, of course it's him that manages to get me a little bit. Oh, no, my black heart. How could you? And now we are really, really fine. Goodbye to you. And War. War actually died before my second shot could hit him. So that is rather impressive, I have to say. Headless Horseman, not even there for a second. And the Fallen is just... Well, he's fallen. Ah, boom. Really? Really? Really, Abel? Is that... Is that... Is that what you... Uh, is that what you... I'm going to take you so you don't show up in a golden chest. But I'm very upset about it. That's all I'm saying. I'm very upset that you did this to me, Abel. I'm very, 
very upset. Let's move on with our life. So that worked out really... Well, it didn't work out really nicely because we didn't get anything great, but we did get to wreck the boss rush, which I always, you know, I always appreciate. So that is cool. Why did I take damage from it at the end, but not at the beginning? I'm unsure as to the mechanic application of that, but I also think that maybe we're gonna be fine. I could not real. Oh, that is a long Larry Jr. over there. I didn't expect it to be that long. And the curved horn. Yes, more damage. I demand all of the damage in the world. Let us get our spider army and let's destroy all we face. Let's race and race as we progress through the womb. We're gonna find mum and the boss and this place is gonna become their tomb. They're gonna be covered in gloom. They're gonna cry to their own mothers who were probably kinder to them than my actual mother. But that is fine. I'm not bitter. Oh, hey, Conquest. I hate you. So I, I, I was going to continue that song for a while, getting really, you know, jiving. And then I realized I hate Conquest so much that I no longer feel wee. I no longer feel musical, so it's just how it is. So I really do have a spider army here, which is obviously nice. Maybe I actually should have kept the horse, just because I don't need the damage from Shears, and I don't need... You know, this space bar item. I realize I said the same sentence twice there, but that's cool. So it would have just been an advantage to acquire flying and a bit of speed. But then there's a big part of me that's like, if you use Conquest's item, then Conquest is going to know that he's appreciated and he'll show up more, which, you know, is a massive argument against it. Flatworm! Worm! Lovely. Doesn't actually do anything but increase the uh, hit box of the tier, so we really don't need it too badly. We'll have a look in here just because we are... Ooh! We are getting there. That is two out of three. Lovely. Do I want the flies? To be fair, again, probably should have kept the flies, but apparently I'm just really loyal to pinking shears. I don't know what's made me so loyal to pinking shears. Maybe they have paid me off in some way. But really, I'm cool with it, because it's not like the space bar item is going to make a difference when we are rocking this level of power. So that's good. Let's move on through here. We get the sacrificial room, which we definitely do not need. Eden is just very, very furious right now. He really is. Bit of health is lovely. We'll blow up all of these, just because there's a lot of the rocks that... Yeah, there we go. I was going to say, there's a lot of the type of rocks that give you a thing. And regen is actually going to come in moderately useful as we progress on through Isaac and the Blue Baby. I don't need that. I don't need Tears Down. Tears Down, arguably, is a tactical use, because maybe I'm firing Ipecax too fast for my own good. But then I think... No, I'm not going to be that person who's like, I don't want to fire explosives as fast as I'm firing explosives. That's dangerous and someone might get hurt. No, who cares if someone gets hurt? Bring on the pain. So I imagine Mum's heart is going to get killed in a couple seconds. Are we ready? And... Okay. Can I just ask, is that the fastest Mum's heart kill that any of you have ever seen? Has anyone killed Mum's heart faster than instantly upon entering the room? Because even if someone has matched that, I don't think it is physically possible in this game to kill Mum's heart faster than I just killed Mum's heart. And that pleases me in a big way. I don't want you. You are fine. I don't have the patience to care about giving you enough money, so I'm just going to kill you out of some cruel spite. And then I'm not even going to see what item you would have dropped. That is how, that is how cruel I'm going to be random beggar individual and uh, goodbye to you goodbye to you the wafer would be very useful right now that's kind of convenient we may get some spear hearts and we don't actually we just get trolled we just get trolled but that is fine i imagine isaac is going to fall in very much oh 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 i say oh I say. <laughs> oh no that is going to do so much damage. That is in. That is. A me yes. Just yes. That is good. That is very, very good. I am pleased. Cricket's head in the house. Health up. Lovely. 
Did I go back for that tinted rock that I said I missed ages ago? Yeah, I did. I did. Okay, good. But I, it's not even the fact that my Ipecac is now slaughter level. It's the fact that my spiders are slaughter level now. They are going to destroy everything so quick. I, I, I cannot wait to get to the Isaac fight. I will lay this down right now. I am looking forward to this Isaac fight so, so goddamn much. I, I just, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so powerful. Oh, death. You thought you could challenge me, death? I'll give you a clue, death. Nothing can ever challenge me. Absolutely destroying him. I don't know what you thought you were doing, but, you know, it was adorable that you tried. Hey, Daddy Longlegs, you're normally kind of annoying, but as it turns out... I'm not even going to move. I'm not even going to move. Yeah, there you go. What's up? I really want to get a ridiculous amount of spiders from somewhere. I want to walk into Isaac's room, and I want him to die in a millisecond. I want to pull a mum's heart on his ass. I mean, I don't want to put a, you know, a freshly carved out heart on his ass. That's just, that's weird, and I'm not going to judge with what you're into. That would be a very specific thing to be into as well. Probably an, a Dothraki thing. But, here we go. Here we go. Go, spiders, go! Yes! Not instantly, granted, but come on, was that not a speedy little Isaac kill? This run has just been incredible. Eh, eh. Oh, do I want... Do, yeah. You know what? Oh my God! <laughs> Why did I think that was a good idea, can I ask myself? You know what? When in Rome... When in Rome, we go for it. Let's grab this as well. May as well grab them all. And... To be fair, it's fine when it doesn't actually hit a wall. So, oh yes, please bring on the damage. I didn't even see you get hit by anything, but you apparently died, so that's lovely. And there you go. A little bit of money, completely pointless. And goodbye to you. Yeah, my... Imagine if I was actually Guppy. Oh, hello, adversary. You're normally really annoying. How did that go for you, though? In fact, I just realized it now prevents me from dying to an Ipecac fired at my face at a wall. That's not terrible synergy. I feel like I've gained as much as I've lost. Balls of Steel is actually kind of nice to there. Just a little bit of a safety net is probably cool. Of course, I dodge this room perfectly when I can take the hit. That is... That upsets me a little bit, actually. That... That's a little bit fundamentally upsetting, but I'm not going to worry about too much. Hey, Gru well, we didn't quite have time for a full chat, I'll admit. That was a little bit stupid as well. Hey, our boss room, how are you doing? Of course, we find the boss room when it really doesn't matter when we find the boss room, but that's okay. We also don't really got a lot of spiders. I'm deliberately not going to attack just to see if this amount of spiders, how much it actually does. So look at that. That is insane. Goodbye, blue baby. You tried. And, and by you tried, I mean you didn't really try, but you kind of tried. So really, I mean, could we ask for a better run here? Boom! That is so much fun. That is the coolest Ipecac. Bouncing room-wide Ipecac. That is what I like to see. Boom. Alright, guys. There you go. My name has been Rage. What a wonderful run. The streak grows once more. The money goes in. Platinum God is going to happen. Yes, it will. Remember to like if you've enjoyed this. It really does help. And I do appreciate it. And subscribe for more. Oh, good boy. You've been watching.